many police here, and then I realized why. Because what's happening here, what the city is doing, is robbing and stealing the properties from these people. They're trying to to do that, and that's why the, there's so many police here because there's a crime that's being committed by the city of Phoenix, of uh, Mesa, here in trying to get rid of the people of uh, Mesa Road. Thank you. This lady states that she doesn't understand the dates, the limitation of the dates to proceed to the next step in this issue. That the possible owner and the current owners are the wealthy ones that they invested not knowing that they were in violation. And why, why these strict deadlines to change hands or to backcave them that she doesn't understand and none of them understand Um, I was speaking in English. Um, first, okay, primeramente queremos saber todos quién es el nuevo dueño. First of all, we all want to know who the new owner is. The city? No, the city does not own that property. And who is the owner? They, right now. Why is he not presented? Why is he not here? Please let me finish, all right? They have a prospective buyer, I've been told, that currently the property is in escrow with what's called a 20-day inspection period and a 10-day refusal period. So if, if the owner of the trailer didn't abide by the law according to the letter, can you show how much, uh, how much fine he was sanctioned for not complying with the rule? Okay, at, at this point, right, we were still trying to work through the enforcement action. And, and we, were, we were getting to the point where there was no action that we could file criminal charges. Now, what I would suggest and what we can do for you is we can provide you with all the documentation that we have with the communication with the owner and if need be, testify as to what he knew at the time. All I have to say is that, it's, that everything's really unfair to all of our families. This is the home that we have. It's the only thing we have. So somebody needs to do something and fix it. Because we're not, we're not going to let this go. We're going to stand in our ground and we're not going to let you guys just throw us like we're nothing. That new, but yeah. like the owner said, when they had the meeting with him, I heard, I heard him. Yeah. I heard everything he said. Yes. When we had the meeting. Yes. He said he was meeting all the requirements. Yes. That the city of Mesa Put was forth. obligating him to do. Yes. And now they're saying in there that he didn't. And this so is the reason why they're a victim. Yeah. It's, what do you think the real reason is? The real reason is because they, they're trying to buy, they're trying to take that land because of the rail, the rail, the rail, the rail and yeah. build up nicer properties. You know, make it look there. nice. Yeah, you know, yeah. They don't care about the people. No. Mm -hmm. They care less about that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, they paid the, yeah. the prior owner and he made his money and left. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's kind of wrong. That is wrong. <laughs> Very wrong. wrong. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you. You've reached the offices of Arizona Tenants Union. We know how frustrating it is to reach an answering machine instead of a real person. It's just that we're unbelievably busy. There's no shortage of bad landlords in Arizona. Please leave a message and we will get back to you.